G'day and welcome to Emergency Medicine Topics in One Coffee. I'm Alan Giles, an emergency physician, and today's topic is going to be AC joint injuries, so acromioclavicular joint injuries. So what's the acromioclavicular joint? Well, it's the joint between the distal part of the clavicle and the acromion of the scapula. It's a small synovial joint, and superiorly it's got the superior ligament and inferior the inferior ligament. It's also important to remember about the coracoclavicular ligament, that is the conoid and the trapezoid ligament that holds down that clavicle. Okay, so what does the AC joint do? Well, it allows you to raise, it actually acts as like a pivot point, it allows you to raise your arm above your head and helps also with a bit of rotation. How do people get injuries to the AC joint? Well, generally it's a direct strike. So you can see from this video here, often the patient will have, or the person will have their arm in adduction and they'll have a direct strike against it. It's painful, doesn't it? The shoulder gets pushed down, the clavicle stays where it is, and that's where the injury occurs. Other subgroups you'll often see with uh, middle-aged men in lycra, mammals, going over the top of their extraordinarily expensive bikes and striking the point of their shoulder. Presenting to the emergency department, it can be really quite painful. Uh, you'll see you'll, sometimes the characteristic step, which you shouldn't mix up with the epaulette sign you can see in an anterior shoulder dislocation. So you can see the two different ones here. So this is the, the step I'm talking about, and this is the anterior shoulder dislocation epaulette sign. So tender over the acromioclavicular joint, uh, sometimes you tend to know where the conoid and trapezoid ligaments would be and the pain increases if you move their arm across the midline. How else can you diagnose it? Well, you can get an x-ray, of course, and you can see whether the, um, the clavicle has been lifted up. You can compare one side to the other and occasionally we'll do weight-bearing ones where they'll put some weights to drop down the shoulder a bit like this and you can see more, it accentuates whether the clavicle is going up. So let's go back a little bit and say, okay, how do we classify these? Well, there's a Rockwood classification between one and six. So one is essentially a sprain. It's an incomplete um, rip of the AC ligament. Two, it goes all the way through the AC ligaments, but the coracoclavicular ligaments are still holding the clavicle down. Three, well, now those, those um, conoid and trapezoid ligaments are getting ripped and the clavicle's lifting up like this. Four, well now the clavicle's actually gone backwards and can go into the trapezius muscle. Five, well that's when the that clavicle's lifted right up, more than two times you'd expect from normal. And six, which is, I haven't seen before, but six, it gets shoved anteriorly and inferiorly. Okay, so most of the time in emergency departments we see grades one, two, and three. What do we do for them? Well, the grade one, there's a tender over the area, no problems on the x-ray. Um, and grade two, where it's tender, but it's not particularly lifted up, the conoid and trapezoid ligaments seem to be intact. Those ones we just have a sling, non steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, and refer to uh, the local doctor and physio. Often they're able to go back to sport within two to four weeks. Grade three, if you remember, that's where those conoid and trapezoid ligaments have been ripped and it's starting to lift up a fair bit. Um, now they should be referred to an orthopedic surgeon. It depends on the activity of the patient and the preference of the surgeon, but often they'll actually have an operative intervention. Uh, and they get pretty good outcomes from doing that. Four, five, and six, well, you need to speak to an orthopedic surgeon immediately because often those will have to go to emergent surgery. Okay, well that's all pretty easy, isn't it? We've had a look at the anatomy, we've had a look at how it occurs when you fall on the point of the shoulder, and how the presentation is not to get mixed up between the step and the epaulette sign of an anterior shoulder dislocation. Uh, we've spoken about the six different types you can get and the specific different treatments that you have for it. Okay, well I think that'll just about do for AC joint dislocations in one coffee. I'll see you next time. Cheers.